Art Laffer, he was an economic advisor for President Reagan. Any anytime the government gets into picking in, uh, losers and winners, you get into things like this. Art people in the high tax states yeah. now rushing to get their taxes prepaid, their state and local taxes, because they're not going to be deductible to the same extent that they were. Doesn't surprise you. Can, you I you can't just make this stuff up, can you? No, it's amazing. It's just amazing. <laughs> And the IRS is not being particularly clear about what's deductible and what isn't. I mean, if you they if you, want their money, no, they're saying it's not going to be deductible. Is what they're really saying because yeah. they want their money really badly. Yeah, uh, I want to keep mine too. So what can I say? It's a fight to the end. Right, and and you know, New York's <laughs> governor is trying to make it possible for people to prepay as many of their state taxes as possible. It partly opens up, you know, it it brings money into the state coffers, but it's partly also a snub at President Trump. Yeah, well, you know, this just goes to show you that, by the way, state and local taxes should not be deductible at a federal level. I mean, they should be payable there, and they shouldn't be, and so this type of nonsense doesn't really make any sense whatsoever uh, for the running of good government. It's just a tax loophole that you're trying to get around, and unfortunately, they've set it up this way. The tax codes are so arcane and complicated that there are all sorts of these things going on, John. Yeah, and, and even CPAs who are in the business of knowing the tax law, they're scratching their heads trying to figure out exactly yeah. what, what is deductible and what isn't. Have, have you ever rule. talked to Don Rumsfeld on this? He writes a letter every year to the IRS. I have no idea if this tax return is correct. I have no idea. I can't figure it out. But here's what I think it might be. <laughs> you know, it's just a very clever letter that he writes every year. And it's every year it's so true. It's just truer than anything. Look at this, just this lax tax bill. John, it was 1,000 pages. I mean, for what? Cutting the corporate rate from 35 to 21. Go figure. But no, they have to put 1,000. And if you read them, those 1,000 pages are full of little nasty things, little nice things. I mean, all sorts of stuff in there. You're in the business of, well, uh, <coughs> predictions, I, I guess. Um, you know, people like to make predictions with the new year coming on. What do you predict as a result of this Tax Reform Act? Well, I'll put my little swami hat on, and be, what I want to assure you is that I'm far better, John, predicting the past than I am the future. <laughs> that having been said, uh, I think this tax bill will have an amazing effect on the U.S. economy, and I expect to see a lot of very strong growth over this coming year, and I think that growth will build up for the next couple of years. And the one I think is most important here is I really believe tax revenues will increase as a result of the corporate tax rate reduction in this bill, and I think uh, this will lead to prosperity and a better budget. So you don't you don't buy the idea that we're going to blow a 1.5 trillion dollar oh, hole in the That's the silliest in the, thing I've ever heard in my life. These guys who do that, I mean, they have no idea how accountants and corporate people work. You know, when you cut tax rates, John, they stop sheltering as much income as they did. There'll be a lot less tax evasion as well. Companies will move back to the U.S. And none of these have anything to do with economic growth, which they are pretty good at. But this type of stuff, the behavioral responses, they don't get, and that stuff is enough to way offset. Uh, the corporate tax rate reduction. Yeah. Effective tax rates will drop by a lot less than the statutory rates. A lot of the polls, and you know, you can decide whether or not you like to believe polls, but a lot of the polls suggested only about 30 percent of the American people were on board with the idea of this tax reform. Do you think that number is going to change when people start seeing their paychecks? Oh, sure. And when they stop seeing all the negative press on it. I mean, there hasn't been a Democrat who says, hasn't said it's Armageddon, it's the end of the world. Even the Republicans, John, were sitting there, oh, this is a bad provision. That's, you know, all of that stuff makes voters upset. And frankly, so they have a negative view of this. But once the storm clears, once the dust settles, I think you're going to see people like the growth. I think they're going to like their tax bills being much smaller than they have been. And I think they're going to like the prosperity. And I'm very excited about this. And if you look at it from a political standpoint, I'd much rather be on this side of the fence than on the other side right. going into the 2018 elections. Well, a happy new year to you, Hard Laffer. Happy new year, John. Thank, Thank you.